Hello, my friends. I welcome you today to a lesson that touches each and every one of us, karma. You may have heard the word before, but have you ever truly understood its impact on your life? Today, let's explore karma not as a concept, but as a living force shaping our actions, thoughts, and relationships. Imagine karma as a seed you plant. Every action, every intention, every choice, it's a seed you place into the soil of your life. Now, picture yourself as a gardener. Some seeds you plant may bloom into kindness, patience, and peace, while others may sprout weeds of anger, resentment, or impatience. You see, karma is that law of nature that returns to you whatever you sow, whether you're conscious of it or not. When I was young and still learning what it meant to live a life of mindfulness, I remember a particular elder from my village who radiated kindness. He was known for his generosity, giving food to those in need and offering a comforting word to anyone troubled. When I asked him why he gave so freely, he simply said, Child, this is my garden. I choose to fill it with flowers, not thorns. His kindness was his karma, and his life blossomed with peace and respect from everyone he met. That elder taught me that karma is not something to be feared, but to be embraced as a guide. You see, the purpose of karma is not to punish or reward, but to teach. It shows us the mirror of our own actions and asks us to reflect. When we experience difficulty, rather than asking, why is this happening to me? We might instead ask, what lesson can I learn from this moment? Karma invites us to look within, to understand the part we play in the vast, interconnected web of life. In today's world, where it's easy to rush through life without much thought, karma reminds us to slow down and reflect. Have you ever noticed how a simple act of kindness can come back to you in unexpected ways? Or how an impatient word can create tension, lingering in a way that affects your whole day? These are not random events, they are the ripples of karma, teaching us to be more mindful of our words and actions. Consider, for a moment, the relationships in your life. Think of someone close to you, a friend, a family member, a partner. What karma have you built with them? If there is harmony, it's because of the kindness, the patience, the forgiveness you've nurtured. If there is strain, it may be a signal to examine the seeds you've sown. Karma invites us to take responsibility for the energy we bring into every connection. But remember, karma is not here to punish, it's here to guide. Every moment is an opportunity to choose a new seed, to plant intentions of kindness, patience, compassion. Imagine a world where each one of us sows seeds of love and empathy, where every thought and action is chosen with awareness. How different would that world be? Now, I am not saying that life will be without difficulty. Even when we strive to live mindfully, we will face challenges. That is part of being human. But when we understand karma, we are no longer helpless. We begin to see our struggles as opportunities to grow, to learn, to improve the garden of our own lives. We become empowered, knowing that every action, however small, contributes to the life we are creating. Let me leave you with a story, a simple one that may resonate with you. Once, a traveler came across a wise sage sitting beneath a tree. The traveler asked, how can I find happiness in this life? The sage looked at him with a knowing smile and replied, treat others as you wish to be treated, and you will find happiness follows you. In that one phrase, he captured the essence of karma. My dear friends, each of us has the power to shape our destiny, not by controlling the world around us, but by choosing the seeds we plant. Karma is simply the gardener's reminder to be mindful of what we are creating. So, I ask you today, what seeds will you plant? What actions, what intentions will you bring to the world? Take a moment to reflect on your life. If you feel inspired, make a small change today, perhaps a word of kindness, a moment of patience, a forgiving heart. This is how we shape our karma, and in turn, it shapes us. Thank you for watching. If this lesson on karma resonated with you, please like and share it with someone who might find peace in these words. Subscribe to the Mindful Path TV for more lessons that inspire growth, self-reflection, and a mindful life. Until next time, remember, the seeds you plant today will shape your tomorrow.